How to deposit money in Binance from bank account. Hey guys, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, we're going to see step by step how we can buy um, cryptos from Binance using our bank account. So if you don't have an account in Binance, no problem. It just need, it's, it's really simple to create an account. And in order to continue after you have a Binance account, you need to verify your identity so you can do transactions in here. So as you can see, my account is already being verified. So uh, if you already have your account and your account is already verified, uh, we just need to go into buy crypto. But if your account hasn't been verified yet, it's not going to take more than five minutes. You just need to go where it says your profile and go into identification and you just need to provide all the documents that Binance asks for. So as you said, it won't take more than five minutes. So once your profile is verified, you want to select buy crypto. So we have four ways that we can buy crypto. So we can use a credit and debit card. Actually, that's the way that I do that because it's really, really simple. We can do a P2P trading. We can do a cash balance and we can do a third party payment. So in this case, what we want to do, let's say we don't have a credit card or a debit card. We don't have uh, balance in our Binance. So the only way that we can pay is, is with a bank transfer. So the way that we can make a transfer from our bank account into Binance is to select the one that says P2P trading. Now P2P refers into peer-to-peer -peer exchange. This is like a marketplace where a lot of people uh, can trade crypto directly from one person to another. And if you don't have a credit card or maybe you don't even have an account and you're in a bank, this is like a great option for us. So what you guys want to do is to select the crypto that you want to buy. If you don't know which crypto uh, you want to buy, I strongly recommend that you select USDT or Bitcoin since those coins are really, really like the most popular um, in the market. So if I select Bitcoin, I'm going to select the amount that I'm going to be paying. Now where it says fiat, we want to select the currency that we're using in our bank or in your local area. In my case, that would be the MXN. Maybe you're using dollars, that would be USDT. So it totally depends on yourselves. Now on payment, this is what we want to do. It depends on the local and the region that you are currently in. So either you can go into Noxo, 7-Eleven. We have only this one's available in my country, but you're gonna see different because in your country, it's totally different so let's say you want to pay uh with 7-eleven so it's going to be showing us the advertises that we can make um a purchase only paying on 7-eleven so the last thing i totally recommend you guys is to make sure that the advertisers you're going to make the payment have this verification icon so you can be more than sure that your transaction has been done and will be made correctly so you can see the price of Bitcoin. This one is 919. This one is 8448. So I want to select this one and I'm going to buy the Bitcoin. So the last thing you want to do is to select how much you want to pay for the token. What are you going to receive? And these are like the terms of conditions of the appetizer. Follow the instructions and then you can receive your money within the next uh, 7 to 12 hours. Sometimes it takes a little bit less. But in this case, this says that it, this one is going to be sending after 10 p.m. of Mexico City time. So there you have it, guys. You just place the order, you pay the seller, and you get the crypto. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about Binance app. Thank you for watching the video, guys, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.